Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, it's fun math apps. Hi, my name is Guy Tranian and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today we're talking about fun math apps. And these are apps that are, at least at the time we're doing this, free and they're fantastic to use. They show the users a lot of what needs to be done. They're fun to use and every kid that I've seen using it is really having a lot of fun exploring and finding out things. So the first one I want to talk about is Ono oh Fractions and Fractions is one of those areas that kids find really difficult and actually adults too. And Ono oh Fractions have a great way of making fractions come to life through their graphics. And so this one is a Ono oh no Fractions and you can see that you have some options here, comparing fractions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And this is the partial version, so not everything is available. For 99 cents, you can get the whole thing. I would argue, at least as a parent, I would get the whole thing, even for the classroom. Um, it's a great idea because kids do have challenges. So let's see what compare looks like. This is a comparison. And you can say that you can say four-fifths is less than or greater than one-eighth. And if you're not sure, what do you do? Well, if you're not sure, so let's say I'm sure I was wrong. What now? Well, prove it. You can take it down and see here are four-fifths and here is one-eighth. And now it's very clear which one is more and which one is less. And you say, I'm done. And so it is greater. And you go to the next one. And so you can actually, you can actually look at these and start doing the work. And peak feature allows you to actually do the same thing as you do when you prove it. And say, I'm done. So you can see how you can move through this and get a real solid understanding of fractions as you're going through because you've got this interactive way of doing this. Let me show you what, how they do additions. So here in additions they say, first of all, you've got to find the common denominator. So I've got the, uh, I've got the two parts and I've got the ten parts and you have to slide them until they meet. In this case, it's the 10 parts, and this automatically grows. So now it's, it should be 5 tenths and 8 tenths, and now the process is much simpler. So I found it, it's in tenths, and now I've got 5 tenths and 8 tenths, right? And say, how much is it? Add the two numerators, that is 5 and 8, that would be 13 tenths, I'm sure. And so you can see that on the side there, on top of having the representation in fractions, there's also a representation in percent and in decimals, so you can actually see how these will transfer as you go forward. And we can go back and we can try um, other things as well. So we can do division. And so in division, first you invert the fraction, you invert the one on the right, and then you do multiplication. Very simple, you go back to that operation. So this one is called Ono oh Fractions, and I think it's one of the best fraction apps out there, and I would definitely use it in the classroom or with kids at home. It really doesn't matter. Sketchpad has been around for quite a while. It was uh, on computers. It has shown up on the iPad as well. And what I love about this is not just that it's teaching math, but really that kids can explore. They can explore what they need to do next. Or if they have time, whether at home or at school, they can actually explore some concepts on their own and learn about relationships in math. So we can get started. And you can see that it starts with the Pythagorean theorem. 
and you can actually see how the relationships change. So there's animation here and you can dig deeper and this is looking at a sinus wave and see what happens there and you can change the relationship again. You can show the measurements and you can see exactly what's happening in this wave and you can explore even further. So there's lots and lots of layers in Sketchpad and you really want to to set some time to explore it and see where it fits into the curriculum because it really has so much. You can see all of these things that uh, are there. There's documents that will go with what you're doing and you can explore. For example here, you can see the measurements and this gives you the exact proportions here and you can now start Seeing, for example, you can define how many levels you will have. So now I have five levels of triangles with their squares that are around them for the Pythagorean theorem and then the transference to uh, the wave and beyond that. So if you go to elementary math, what you can find is these are the topics that are covered. So let's, for example, look at a triangle and angles. This gives you the triangle and the measurement of the angles and as you move and manipulate these around you can see that they are constantly uh, 180 in total and you can also see what each one is and what happens as you change them. Can you make all the angles equal? So you can start playing with that and you get all the angles to be equal, equal 60. And you can see on the bottom how you can move from one idea to the next. So this is fractions. We covered fractions in the previous ones, but this is another representation of fractions. You can look at symmetry and uh, you can change the position of a mirror on a picture. You can actually insert your own picture here or any, uh, any object, picture of any object, and see if the reflection is actually appropriate and you can see that there are other things as well. So there are lots of things to explore in this app and it's definitely worth taking the time and seeing how you can incorporate that into your classroom or if you've got students who are truly interested in math or you think will be picked and their interest in math will grow as a result, I will definitely recommend using it both in class, in free time, and at home, so it's multiple ways of using the same one. The last one I want to talk about is called To Do Math, and in this one, it is aimed at kindergarten through second grade, basic skills and arithmetic, in this case it's counting, and what it will do is it will actually, through multiple layers, teach certain concepts, in this case we'll do counting, so you can see that I can count them, and then you write the result. And you see how this works. And if we go back, you can see that you can also practice other skills. So if we go here, there's counting, there's tracing, there's tallies, and there's quick facts. Let's try quick facts, first grade, second grade. Sorry, first grade. Solve the problem. Drag the number to show the answer. Write your answer here. So this is a simple practice. And what I love about this app is there's always a short movie explaining how to do this. It's very simple. It uses the same interface for everything. And I love the fact that you can write it with your finger. You don't have to drag the number. So it's a different kind of practice. But So you can do it also this way if you're like me and you're a little bit challenged with the way you write numbers. So both ways are possible, both ways are good practice, and this is a way to do the work. So this one is called To Do Math. So today we talked about three different apps that are all fantastic at having some fun with math and learning concepts that are harder to learn, practicing, and even having some time to explore math concepts. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.